We're going to begin with that huge step forward for lawmakers. A bipartisan group of senators says it has reached a general agreement on new gun reform legislation. If it passes, it would be the most significant action taken on gun safety since the 1990s. Still, President Biden and other lawmakers insist it's just a start. A bipartisan group of senators announced a much sought after agreement on gun safety legislation. There's still a lot of work to do. There's still a long way to go, but I'm really encouraged. At this point, the deal is just a proposal and not yet written, but it does have the support of 10 Republican senators, signaling it could be strong enough to overcome the Senate filibuster. Republican Senator John Cornyn of Texas, who has signed on to the bipartisan framework, tweeted, the tragedies in Uvalde and elsewhere cried out for action. I worked closely with my colleagues to find an agreement to protect our communities from violence while also protecting law-abiding Texans' right to bear arms. The proposal includes funding to incentivize states to pass red flag laws, allowing juvenile records to be searched during background checks for buyers under 21, strengthening the background check system, and increasing funding for school security. The outline does not include a renewal of the so-called assault weapons ban and also does not raise the age to purchase a firearm. President Biden released a statement on the proposal saying it does not do everything he thinks is needed, but includes, quote, important steps in the right direction. And, quote, the sooner it comes to my desk, the sooner I can sign it, and the sooner we can use these measures to save lives. It's moving in the right direction. We're glad that the, the Senate is finally uh, awake about this. Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer released a statement saying that he plans to get that bill to the floor as soon as possible.